working out at the Y and the 14 times around the Y track is a mile and she would lose count so she made this wonderful device that every time she goes around the track one time she moves this bead down. Wow. How would you describe this to her? her? Listeners, anyway, it's a cute little invention, and maybe the Y will sell them for her or well, something. The Y wanted me to tell you that it's actually 14.10 times around for a mile. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So she'll have to put AM 1410. It. It okay. Oh. So you have to have a ten. I will bring that up tonight at our meeting. Well, it's not up the clean. <laughs> you the clean. You're listening to the Laura Dion Jones Show on WRMN as I said, and okay, back snap, back to reality, here I am. Our first guest today is none other than Tanya Hudson, Executive Director of the Downtown Neighborhood Association of Elgin. Welcome, Tanya, to the Laura Dion Jones Show. Thank you for having me. Spill your guts, girl. Tell us what the Downtown <laughs> Neighborhood Association of Elgin is all about. Well, we are, um, basically we're an economic development organization that works to revitalize downtown Elgin. And we're a volunteer-driven organization, so we have uh, about 100 volunteers that throughout the course of a year will give their time and talents to the organization. And um, doing all sorts of different projects, for example, our friend Darlene here is a, a huge volunteer with the DNA, does lots of things for us. Um, and uh, so we do everything from special events in the downtown, bringing people into the downtown, to doing business recruitment, business retention, um, all sorts of different things like that. We help to... Um, we help with facade improvement programs for the downtown, mm -hmm. signage. Were you responsible for the pavement, the pavers, and things? Who, was that no, your part of your idea? We're not responsible for it. <laughs> but are you going to give a good comment or a bad one? <laughs> oh, good. No, good. No, no, no. Whose idea was it? Yours? That's a city project. Yeah, uh -huh. that's an infrastructure project. So it's, it's, it's a beautiful. city project. Yeah. You know, there's a beautiful sculpture that's outside the corner by Quiznos on Douglas. And it's a bike and a cart. Yes. And I saw it. I blew by it. La not blew by it. I drove past it last week at the <laughs> speed limit. But I just happened to As see. You were passing by the police station. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. And they had the radar gun on me too. No, I saw it, and I thought it was at first somebody's bike because I didn't get a full look of it. And there's a guy who rides around downtown mm -hmm. whose bike is decorated very similarly, mm -hmm. except he rides it all over the place. Mm -hmm. But anyway, <laughs> when I came in today, I took a long look at it. Now, are you going to put more of those like sculptures and different things around? That is part of our bicycles on parade event. That's a safety event, my dear. It's yeah. a door. Oh, you're that kidding! Is a yeah, you should know that. Yeah, yeah. Elgin Climate Change Organization and Elgin Community Network. That is, it's like the Rain Barrels on Parade event that they did last year, which is kind of based on the Cows on Parade thing that they did in Chicago. Oh, I can't tell you that. And we did dinosaurs around. on parade. Oh, we did. Back. That's right. I did one of the dinosaurs. Yes, so we did dinosaurs. <laughs> so it's an awesome way to be able to exhibit artwork outdoors and get community involvement, and then they raffle off the the artwork, whether it's Rain Barrels last year or. Um, or, or dinosaurs, or bikes this year, and the uh, money goes to Elgin Climate Change Organization. And they'll do that as, with that event going on uh, um, on July 31st and August 1st, will they not? Yeah, the Art and Soul on the Fox event. Mm -hmm. Which Down I think South you're booked for. Diva, you're there. You're already signed up for that. Also, those, those bikes are from <laughs> east to west. They're all over town. They're far <laughs> west as the Hawthorne Hill Nature Center. No kidding. Which is on Brookside. I will. Bookside, I will. Bookside. bookside. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I will uh, check it out. There's yeah. a lot. There's a couple right here on this. Uh, See, street. that's the only one I've seen. Oh, so there far. are. Oh, yeah. Ones. There's a lot of them downtown. You saw the Vegomatic? Is that what they're called? Bed, something like that. Is that the one you saw? It's gold. It's gold. There's one right up here that's all green. Oh, this one's right across gold. the street. We have one in our office in the tower building too. It's inside though, because there's lots of valuable stuff on it. So mm -hmm. when they raffle it, you'll get the, the one that's in our office. You'll get gift certificates and all sorts of stuff. And one's so a we buffalo keep that in our well. office. It's like a buffalo, isn't there? You know that? Is there? Yeah, I think. <laughs> that <laughs> sounds good. The um, oh, probably Lord's Park Zoo. Yeah. 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 Oh wow! I bet. Is it? Is it? Does it have buffalo fur on it? I. <laughs> I don't I, know if you can, horns? you can write it, but it has to stop occasionally. <laughs> so I don't know. God. Listen, um, can I get involved in it next year? Sure. I don't be know what we're going to do. to be the theme. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Whatever. I don't know what they're going to do next year. Yeah. I'm sure Siggy's open to suggestions. If you find yourself downtown, there between on Orlean Street, between the Merchandise Mart and the Apparel Center, they have a spectacular outdoor sculpture. Okay. exhibit that I happened to walk by the other day on the way to the doctor and if you look at the medium and then read the plaque they are brilliant sure some of them are just brilliant maybe you you know could get some inspiration from that yeah for sure um, tell our listeners about Harvest Market and tell me about Harvest Market and first Thursdays sure, I'm anxious sure. to know all about that uh, well Harvest Market is our community farmers market 
Um, the Downtown Neighborhood Organization has been doing this for 10 years. Um, and it is basically, it's, you know, started out as just a farmer's market with fresh produce, locally grown produce and uh, things like that. But we've kind of tried to expand it into almost like an open air market. So we have art and music and um, green oriented products and services. Um, we have workshops, we have cooking demonstrations, mm -hmm. all sorts of things like that. So we do the majority of the special event stuff on the first Thursdays of each month. So mm -hmm. um, there's like, like the five cooking of them. And that? Yes, so cooking demonstrations. The, the next one will be July 1st. That's mm -hmm. the next first Thursday coming up. Um, so we'll have art and cooking demonstrations and all that that day. So what time does this take place? It is 10 to 4 most Thursdays, uh, 10 to 6 on the first Thursdays. And and I have, I have to figure out how I'm going to be out here Wednesday. Then I want to come out for Thursday. Then I need to come out Friday. I got to. You need a loft apartment in downtown. Thank you. you took my, my, and you know who you can't about that. Move in one of those bikes. <laughs> Move in one uh, of the bikes. Well, I can just take over. I, got to go, I have to have pet friendly. I have two Italian greyhounds that would be traveling and living here part time with me. And sure. Then I get itchy. We're pet friendly. Are you? We're very friendly. Yeah. Sure. Listen, I want to go back to something. Why are you going to go more brunette? Oh. You're such a spectacular blonde. Uh, I don't know, because I like to change it up. I, honestly, the last time I went brunette, I went real dark, Darlene. She you did. remember? I went almost black. It was like a, like that a, was a Halloween thing. Black. Right? Well, it was. It was associated with the Monster Mash. It was a Halloween 08, it, yeah. Well, it actually, right at, at the, the Monster Mash, I wore a black wig. <laughs> Ah. And I got I got a black wig that looked exactly like my haircut, so I could see what it looked like first. Because I'm, I'm, you know, mm -hmm. I wanted to do something, but I wasn't ready to commit to it. And I'm like, oh, okay, that looks cool. So the next week, I dyed it just totally dark, and, and I liked it. But everyone was like, oh, I hate it. What did you do? Put it back. And they were so upset with me. You're such a blonde. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know how that is. Cause I was born a brunette. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody told you that they hated it. Come on. Oh my gosh, yes they did. It was pretty they strong. They said really? they hated it, yes. They said, you look terrible. <laughs> no way. You know, some, but no you know way. what, maybe it was the shock. Maybe because if, Could you, be. if you got a reaction from strangers Everybody that are positive it. because they don't I know liked her. it. You liked See? it? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. I once did my hair pitch black, snow white, raven, blue black, mm -hmm. and I loved it. Yeah. Wow. yeah. I loved it. What was your color right now, my dear? What's technically your color? <laughs> I think Just it's for the called record, the court report. Spumoni. Spumoni. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. It's red with blonde. I love it. Spumoni. Spumoni. Listen, what about the Fourth of July parade that's being held on the third? The third of July parade. Yeah. The third of July parade, and I'm in it. Oh, yes, really? you are. I'm yes, very I am. Excited about I am that. too, and so are my kids from uh, the church group. Oh, good. And uh, so it'll be fun. We just hope that there's. We hope it's fun and we hope it's not 98 degrees and 100 in the shade. But that's to leave and pouring so rain. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm just hoping for no rain. Me yeah. too. Can, actually, most of the parade route is really shady since it starts in the neighborhood. It starts at Slade and Douglas mm -hmm. in my the house. northeast neighborhood area. And it goes for a mile. The, the parade route is about a mile long. It ends in the downtown, basically right here where we are mm -hmm. right now. And uh, we have over a hundred parade units that'll be in the parade. Am I a parade unit? You are a parade unit. Thank you. Yes, you are one parade unit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's how we count you. And we have just today, it's very exciting, we have a really big ending to the parade, kind of a big act that we're not going to say what it is because you have to come out and Melissa see Melissa Etheridge? It. Oh. Uh, well, no, it's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I feel not, bad about it. No, no I'm teasing. The teasing. Elgin Street Cleaner is not being replaced, is he? Because that tradition, the Elgin Street Cleaner made in no. Elgin, Illinois, traditionally closes the parade. Yes, we need the That's street cleaner. Those are made here. Yes. We definitely need <gasps> the street They're all cleaner. over the world. They're made right I here. I know that. Yeah. Elgin Street Cleaner. I didn't know they were really made here. Is Elgin, Elgin, Elgin right now? Elgin. No, no, but clean. I know, but I never Put connected together. the two. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So what, what uh, special activities do you have planned for after the parade? Anything special well, at the be ending? Because it is a Saturday, mm -hmm. um, we're doing it on the 3rd, everything will be open in downtown. You know, So we really want people to come out and enjoy the restaurants. Mm -hmm. It'll be a really fun time. Um, there's a, a number of restaurants that are doing live entertainment, and, you know, specials and things like that, uh, family-oriented mm -hmm. types of things. So we're really encouraging people to do that. And then just to spend the day in downtown, we have Walton Island, we have Festival mm -hmm. Park, you can ride your bike around downtown, take Coffee a bike shops. trail. Yep. There's, there's just so much to do to just come on down and enjoy it. So I happen to have lunch today with Siggy and Jordan Powers and a couple other nice, wonderful, talented, creative young people. Uh -huh. We ate at Al's Creamery and I had the best salmon Caesar salad I've yes, had in my life. 
an excellent Ever. salmon Caesar salad. Yeah. Ever. Good. Well, it that was is fabulous. Quite, yeah, that's quite a compliment. So tell us some more about uh, some other special activities that you have planned for throughout the summer. Sure. With the uh, downtown neighborhood. Well, I mean, some of the people that you just mentioned that you had lunch with today are involved, including Darlene, um, with the the Next Wave Art Salon. And this is a new event that we're doing this year. We're really excited to bring it to downtown. We're calling it a radically inclusive arts event, and we're doing it in a found space in the downtown. So that, AKA vacant building or what have you, uh, we want to be able to showcase a vacant space. And, and the reason we're doing it in a vacant space is to kind of, we want a raw space mm -hmm. to work with, and we want the, um, the art that comes to the event and the artists that come to the event to create the ambiance and environment that's mm -hmm. there. So it'll be, a um, hopefully, a really cool event. We have $3,000 in prizes to give away, $3,000 prizes. Um, When's the entry deadline? August 31st, roughly. Can I write on this? Yeah, you can have it. The event is September 10th and 11th. Mm -hmm. And um, details are still coming out. We're still you know, putting it together. But the, if people are interested, go to thenextwave.me slash salon for more information. I think that's fabulous. Yeah, we're I'm real excited. Tempted because I work in Elgin, so to speak, can I enter? I mean, do you have to yes. be a resident? No, no, no. Oh, it's, it's international. It, it, that is a great way to say it. Yes. I think so. <laughs> it is international. <laughs> we got can, Canadians coming in. We, <laughs> we have such a we have a really nice uh, community of artists in Elgin, and we're we're just trying to add to that community by mm -hmm. bringing in new artists and and um, just. There's so much in the realm of art that is happening in downtown that we, you know, just really want to capitalize on that. I can see that uh, there's a lot of potential and a lot of possibility, and you guys are really moving in some wonderful, exciting directions. And yeah. the more I get to know everybody out here through working with them and having, you know, meetings and different things, it's it's very impressive. I love coming out here. I really do. It's yeah. how many miles is it from downtown? By the way, I never. Forty, really forty-five. Yeah. Is it that many? Forty-five. Yeah. It's a half a tank of gas in one of my But it's a train I'm ride, train. too. Yeah. Ew, not for me. Well, oh, not for you. I don't do public. It's direct, you know, I mean, for a lot of people. <laughs> Listen, I have something to ask you. Sure. I'm going to skip ahead here in my notes. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. On June 11th, I received a post on Facebook about the Pace Buses on Douglas from this guy. I don't want to say his name. He lives lot. across the street from you. Okay. You okay. know him? You already looked at well, my I know notes. who that is. Okay. <laughs> It says, Dear Laura, I need your help getting Pace to slow down on Douglas Avenue. I have complained and called them, the city and the police. Someone is going to get hurt. The number 541 goes 45 miles an hour repeatedly. Mm, wow. So, what can you do about this, Tanya? Well, I'll call the police, too. <laughs> you know, somebody needs to get out there with a radar gun. They did set up the speed thing on our on our block. Did that they sign that shows was, how fast you're going? Yeah, but it was only up there for a couple of days. What? Yeah. Did he say he's called Pace? Did I miss that part? Or he's only calling the police? He uh, said, he started out with Pace. I have called Pace. I have called oh, okay. them, the city, and the police. Oh. So the and little sticker that says, how am I driving? You can call and say, like, crap. You know, See, so listen, the one who sent me that, James, I don't want to say your last name, who sent me that Facebook post, I did do something about it. I am doing something about it for you, and I had mentioned it on the show, I think it was the week after June 11th, but now that Tanya's here, I got the bright idea to bring it up to her because this would affect you. Yes, it would. So listen, where did my, my co-host go? I uh, would like to thank our sponsors, Larry Allen, um, Seal Coating and Snobhounds Canine Environmental Protection Wear, disguised as Canine Couture at snobhounds.com. And we'd also like to thank Casey Tool, another weekly sponsor of ours. Where have you been? He's back. you got guests in the green room. Well, bring them in. Okay, we will. We like, I like a lot of people. George oh, I know. doesn't like when I have a lot of people oh, in no, you, I you, like a crowd in the studio. Entourage, Miss <laughs> Diva. Yes, the Diva has to have an entourage. And we'd also like to thank Casey Tool, a weekly sponsor of ours, too, available through Snap-on Mobile Tool Distributors. And... Allen and Son Seal Coating. 847-980-6914. And don't forget my motivational website and blog at lauradionjones.com. And please vote for me. I only have to get, I, I'm probably 4,500, 5,000, and I only need six I'll and a half it. million but, but in that 10 one, days. But kids at home, if you're taking notes, and I know you are, uh, they only put that up there like late Wednesday, so you had you had 4,700 votes in no time at all. And I good know. comments. I might be. Thank you for saying and that. And you're seeing that worldwide. That was shot. You go up to the Oprah site, my own Oprah, 